in this video, we will cover two use cases of parameters. If you are not interested to listen to my boring talking, you can skip right below to the timestamps shown in the description below to jump right to the steps. And if you do not know what parameters are, you can check out the parameter video in the basic series. So in this video, we will cover two use cases of the parameters. So the first case is that we want to use parameter to change the data we are looking at. And the second case, we want to use parameter to change our chart type. So first, let's go through the first use case here. Here we have a bar chart that shows us the sales over time. Let's say now we want to change this data here to maybe something else. We want to look at maybe discounts or we want to look at profit or something else. How can we do that with a parameter? So first let's create a parameter. Let's maybe call this matrix. Right? Let's create a string and we want it as a list. So let's say our first option we want is sales and then maybe profit and then discount and then quantity. Okay. Let's show this parameter. And the next step is we want to create a calculated field. So maybe let's call this matrix selected. And we will do a case condition case when the matrix per parameter when it is sales then we will select sales when it is discount then discount when it is profit then profit and lastly we have when quantity then quantity all right so now we have set this up and now we can replace this sales on the row shelf with this matrix selected instead after doing this, we can use our parameter to change the data we want to look at. So now we are looking at sales, we can change this to profit, and you'll see that our chart changes accordingly. <gasps> there is no discount, what's wrong? Okay, let's see. Um, ha, there we go, we spelt it wrong incorrectly. Let's fix this. Alright, now it works again. Alright. Now let's move on to the next use case. We want to be able to use parameter to change our chart type. So first let's duplicate this chart here. And now maybe we will have a line chart instead. Okay, let's call this our line chart. Alright, then the next step of course we need to create our parameter. So this will control our chart type. And we want it as a string. Let's do this. And we have bar chart. And we have line chart. Okay. Alright, now let's put this both this chart onto a dashboard. Alright, so we have a bar chart. We have our line chart here. Okay. Let's show our parameter chart type here as well. Okay, so now we see that we can see both the chart here, which is not what we want. We want to create an effect whereby we can use this parameter here to swap this worksheet, creating an effect that we are changing this chart type. So what we need to do is set up our filters on each of these worksheets. 
So let's go back to our worksheet over here. And the first thing is we need to create a filter by using a calculated field. So we can do chart type filter. And what we want is to use this parameter as the value. Okay. Next, we will bring this into our filter. And over here, this value that we want to select is bar chart. Okay. And then we go to our line chart here. We do the same thing. So over here, what we want is the line chart value. But here, the option does not appear because our parameter selection is on bar chart. There is no such available option. So what we can do is to go to custom value list and type line chart. And we will add this as a value. And we press OK. So you see what happens now is that our line chart disappears. Why does this happen? Is because now our value here is actually false. If we show our parameter here, we have selected bar chart and we want the value of line chart. So of course it's false, it will be shown as blank. And now if we change this to line chart, you'll see that this chart now appears. And now what happens if we go back to our bar chart sheet? So if we go back here, you see now that this chart here is shown as blank. So this is, the cre this is the effect that we want to create. We want to create an effect whereby it will show the, this worksheet when we select bar chart and it will show the line chart worksheet when we select line chart. And let's go back to our dashboard and see them in action. So when we select on line chart, our line chart sheet appears and bar chart, it appears on bar chart. But this still doesn't look great. We have a huge blank space here. So what we want to do is to use a container. So we will want a vertical container. Now, now let's bring our worksheet into the container here. So we have our bar chart worksheet and we have our line chart. Okay, let's put them back here. Alright, so now you see that that huge blank space has collapsed with just using the container. But we still see this title over here. We can hide the title. Now we have a clean look on our dashboard. We can then now use this parameter to create effect of swapping of worksheets. So now we are on bar chart. Let's see what happens when we change to line chart. You see that this line chart now occupies this entire space. And then we also can still use our matrix parameter to change the data that we want to look at.